What's up, friends? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Elizabeth. This is EJ Joyful Plans, and this box is from Levenger. Oh, my Lanta. I am so pumped for this box. I kid you not, I have been subscribed to the Levenger catalog for over a year. I love their products. I love their aesthetic. Um, and I'm primarily a Happy Planner Classic size user, but recently, I started dabbling in a half letter disc bound system and Levenger has beautiful leather covers for the half letter. And so I'm so excited. Levenger sent me a box of items to try out and I'm gonna share them with you. So let's get into it. Again, this was sent to me by Levenger and I did cut this box open, but I have not looked at anything yet. We have a packing slip. Oh my gosh, like this is so luxurious. Y'all, I'm feeling fancy. All right, I have pulled out the four items that were in the box. Looks like we have two different notebooks and then two different types of paper. I'm really excited to try their paper. There is a grid refill and then weekly scheduler, which really caught my attention on the website actually. It has Monday through Sunday on it and then dot grid right next to it, which kind of gave me Hobonichi vibes. So I'm excited to try these out and we'll do a pen test. But let's get into the meat and potatoes. Lavender, okay, 1987. So they're coming up on their 35 year anniversary and they are coming out with the Heritage Collection, which really, I mean, if you've seen, if you've been on the Lavender website and you've looked at their accessories, their desk uh, supplies. Oh my goodness, they're so luxurious and like rich looking, you know what I mean? So check out the Heritage Collection on their website celebrating 35 years. I'm super excited. Let's, let's get into the smaller one first. Oh my goodness, this is such like, it feels like an experience. You know what I mean? Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm so excited. These boxes are really nice. I want to keep the box. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Whoa. This is beautiful. Oh, my goodness. This is beautiful. This is the Circa Snap Notebook. And you've got your little snap, but it's also like, can you tell it's kind of magnetic? So it very easily like finds the little button. Oh my goodness, it's initialed. So you do have the option of adding like a monogram to it. <gasps> it says EJ. This is the Saddle Brown. Let's see if there's anything else in here. Levenger, so information about Levenger. Solutions for readers, writers, and thinkers. They have a really beautiful aesthetic on their Instagram account. You can tell they're they're not a planner company. I mean, they really are for readers, writers, and thinkers. So they highly value like books and you see a lot of authors quotes and stuff like that. Oh my goodness, just so beautiful. Here's their contact information. All right, so let's take a closer look at this notebook. I pointed out the magnetic snap closure, but on it, I hope you guys can tell, it has a tree on it, which is Levenger's kind of logo. Oh my gosh, this saddle color is lovely. Oh my gosh, this is so, this is very thick and sturdy. It's got a beautiful interior with a pocket. And then here are instructions. Now I'm a disc bound girl, so I'm familiar with the process for changing out discs. But if you're new to a disc bound system, there's an explanation for how to remove the cover, how to change out the discs. That's really cool that they include that in the, um, in the notebook itself. And then here is their notebook paper, which is really great for categorizing information. You've got a column here and then lined here. And up at the top, you can put a subject or you can date it with those pre-printed boxes beautiful oh my gosh this is so pretty oh this is cool this is a fold out with more information about circa so lavender is like that luxury brand and then circa is the disc bound system offshoot of lavender but here they have information about the different types of notebooks 
their punches, their discs. Oh, so cool. I like that they're educating us on the system because I'm sure a lot of people will go to their website looking for some of the other things and then not know what to do with a disc bound system. So it's really cool that's included. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then on the back, really subtle down here, it just says Lavender at the bottom. This is lovely. This is lovely. I love the saddle color. It makes me wonder if um, my new tortoise discs would look good on here. What do you guys think? We might have to try that out. So that is the Circus Snap Notebook, and this is real full grain leather. So it's just like it feels, it feels good. It feels luxurious. It feels professional. It feels well made, well stitched. Um, this is like if you want to, you really want to step up your planner game. So that is the first notebook. Let's check out the second one. Oh, so pretty. Oh my goodness. Everything is so, oh my gosh. Look, this is the leather soft folio in that junior half letter size. When you have been touching vegan leather, for a year and then you touch like real pebbled leather, there is nothing like it. Here is the closure, it's a magnetic closure. Oh my gosh, it's so luxurious. Oh my gosh, this is so nice. On the left side, you have basically a full-sized pen pouch, like full-size silver hardware with a leather pull. And then the top pocket goes all the way down to the bottom. The middle goes down to the bottom and then we have two smaller ones here so i grabbed this little notepad this would fit that's all the way down there i don't think i have anything quite long enough to go up here right now but this fills the whole section it's beautiful and this i mean this is a full-sized pen pouch basically love that they also include oh wow let's set this guy aside a notepad that's cool so here is, oh, this is rad. So let me pull this out. Pull it out just so we can take a look at the soft folio itself. So I'm gonna pull this off. Here you can see we have an additional pocket here. This is where you're gonna slide in your planner. And then we have a top section here, which you can use for a notepad or, I mean, I wonder if, let's see if a sticker book, just out of curiosity, would fit in here. I kind of think it would. I mean, it come, It actually is, no, it does, it does push down. So you could put a sticker book in here. We'll have to try it with a planner because it might be, or a notebook, it might be a bit full, but just dimensions wise, you can see that it could potentially fit a sticker book. But I just love the additional pockets. There comes a pen loop and the top of it is that same leather and then the bottom of it is elastic and it's a good size so you can fit some of your larger pens. I know some of the complaints with uh, covers that have pen loops is they only work like on the smallest, smallest pens, but this looks like it could fit a pretty good size pen. All right, so here's the soft folio, but what makes it even better is that it comes with a disbound notebook. So if you are new to disbound planning and you are investing in a nice leather cover like this, it's really cool to have included a disc bound system already. So this is the Circa notebook, it's the junior size, and it's gonna have the same type of note paper that this, the Circa Snap notebook has. So again, we're gonna do pen tests of all this paper, but you've got a very generous amount of paper in here. You are getting the Levenger, frosted cover and that back that's got lavender down at the bottom and this just basically slides in here like this so i'm going to move move these guys out of the way and you can see kind of what that looks like so that's what it looks like it's actually pretty thin if you just have the notebook in there but what's cool about this is you can see these discs are pretty small and I'm going to definitely be using larger discs, but I can see based on 
the width of this center section that you do have room for bigger discs. So I would love to play for a second before we get into testing the paper. I'm very curious about whether my Jane's Agenda cover, I think it's gonna be too bulky, but I was curious if my Jane's Agenda cover would actually fit. Um, let me move all these stickers out of the way. I wonder, was wondering if it would fit in here. Okay, it's not going to fit, but I like this so much that I am tempted to, watch me do this, if I pull this off and I pull this off, let's play for a second, and then I take the frosted cover that came with the notebook, and this is gonna be larger discs, right? These are classic Happy Planner sized discs. Let's add this cover on. I love how things are interchangeable. I've had a lot of people ask me like if you can mix, mix and match different brands. The answer to that is yes. The stem of the mushroom might vary in width and length, but the distance between, I have yet to experience a planner that has a different distance between the punches. So we're gonna pop this guy on and just out of curiosity, what would it look like to slide this guy in there and then it'd be just like that? It works, it definitely works. I almost feel like since I have this, um, this glass plastic kind of inbox topper, I almost don't need this. So then when I'm, oh yeah. So Happy Planner classic discs, which are one and a quarter, I believe, would fit in here. Levenger also has beautiful aluminum discs. They have beautiful plastic discs in all kinds of colors, and they go up to pretty big. I mean, they go up to, I think they've got a two or three inch um, discs. So this uh, sized soft folio will accommodate, at the very least, uh, the 1.25 diameter discs. I cannot get over how beautiful this feels. Like, oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. All right, I'm going to set this aside and we are going to look at the paper they sent me and do a pen test. So here are the two types of paper. Let's just cut into it, see how we're feeling. I'm so excited because uh, I have really been enjoying this half letter size and to find a pretty big stack of, I think there's a hundred sheets. Yeah, a hundred sheets of a layout that could be really awesome. Yeah, I mean, look at that. Oh, and it's got Docker it on the other side. I couldn't tell looking at the pictures if this was double-sided just like this or if there was Docker it on the back. I love that there's Docker it on the back. Oh my goodness. So with this alone, honestly, I could make a whole new planner because when you're looking at it this way, you have your Monday Monday through Sunday, so things that specifically need to happen Monday through Sunday. And actually, we'll just open it up this way. And then you have this whole section for Dockrid, which you could decorate, you could doodle on, you could be creative, or you could create your own to-do lists and brain dumping like this to me could be a really great uh, planner layout to be honest and the fact that the week scheduler comes with 100 sheets means that you have 100 weeks right so you have more than a year's worth of planning pages in this one uh, refill set so love that let's set this aside but I'll keep one page out for pen testing and then the other uh, refill pages we got are grid paper, which I've been appreciating more and more lately. Dot grid is like my favorite, but the grid paper with the lines and the pre-made boxes already are very satisfying to work with as well. So let's get into it. It looks like the colors are pretty much the same. This looks a little bit whiter than this one. This looks a little bit more on the cream side. Let's grab some of my favorite pens to use in my planner. First would be 
a mild liner. We're going to test that. Let's try a, let's see, an S gel. That's a 0.7. So I use, typically use bolder inks. So this is really kind of going to put things to the test. Let's try a Papermate Flare. You know my favorite pen is the Unipen. Let me see if I can find a moderate tipped. Well, this is a 003. Let me see if I can find one that's a little bit bolder, but not too bold. I wonder if they're all, here's a four. Um, what other pens do we want to try? Should we try a Tombow? Let's try a Tombow, like if I'm highlighting. And just for kicks, I'm curious about how an oil-based pen would bleed or not. So uh, do I have any ballpoint pens? Yes. We will try a ballpoint pen as well. Ooh, and let's try a right tech. We're just gonna try all the pens. Any other pens to try? How about a click art, zebra click art? Let's try all of these pens. So we'll start with the grid paper and we'll start with the marker. So this is a mild liner and we'll just see mild liner. I'm gonna write them all down. Then we have the, whoo, that is bright. This is a Tombow. I'm gonna fast track this part. Okay, so here is a sampling of pens. Let's see how they did. So here they are in the front and let's see how they look on the back. So I was expecting the oil to bleed through pretty bad and it did. These I use mostly for the transparent sticky notes. So no surprise there. Uh, the Tombow and the Mild Liner, very, very mild ghosting, but not to a point where I would be annoyed. That color is also very bright, but you can't see the more mild kind of neutral beige color. You can see ghosting on just about all of them, but again, that level of ghosting does not bother me. This would bother me, but this does not. So I would say, and I'm also a heavy writer, so keep in mind, if you apply a lot of pressure, I think it's gonna bleed a lot more. It's gonna ghost a lot more. But I think if you write fairly normally and you like you know, the 0.37s and stuff like that, you would be totally fine. Um, very impressive, I think, the Papermate Flare Definitely some ghosting, but no bleeding. And I would feel comfortable using that on this paper. So that is the grid. Let's take a look at the more um, planner related paper. This is again, the week weekly filler. And I'm gonna go ahead and get these done. There's real life for you. My writing gets worse and worse the faster I go. <laughs> All right, so here are our swatches for these pens and interesting either I think these papers are different weight because next to no ghosting on the weekly filler except for the oil pen and then the Rytec the um, 0.5 Rytec a little bit with the zebra click art. Let's actually go back. Let's fact check, shall we? All right, I went to the website. The weekly filler is 120 GSM, whereas the dot grid and the graph grid is 90 GSM. So this actually is, and I can tell, this actually is a thicker paper. When you are on the Levenger website, make sure that you are looking at the details for products because it looks like the paper weight does change. So this might be 90, this might be 120, but I'm looking at their college ruled uh, paper and that is 100 GSM. So it does vary by paper type. All right, friends, let's do a roundup of everything I got from Levenger. We have the Circa Snap-In Notebook. There are a lot of different types of notebooks from Levenger with varying styles. They have a Snap-In one that doesn't have a closure like this. So if you're looking for something even more minimal, you can get kind of a deluxe hardcover that is leather and beautiful with the pockets. And also you can have it customized. Oh my goodness. I've never had something like, is this embossed? It's not engraved. I think it's embossed. I've never had something with my name on it like that. It's so beautiful. So that is the Circa Snap-In. Then we have the Soft Folio, 
which is that buttery pebble leather with the magnetic closure. I love that it comes with a notebook and it comes with the notepad. So you have everything you need all in one glorious package. And then we got to sample two different types of papers at two different types of weights. We have the graph grid and the week scheduler, which I think you guys are gonna see me using a lot very soon. I think combined these are gonna be, yeah, really excellent for me for business planning. So that is everything from Levenger. Levenger, thank you for sending these to me. What a blessing, what a treat to have something so like luxurious and beautiful. Happy 35 year anniversary, or I guess 35th birthday. Uh, if you guys decide to pick anything up from Levenger, I do have an affiliate link down below. It doesn't cost you anything, but if you decide to pick anything up because I showed it to you, I would love to get um, commission off of your purchase. So uh, if you have any questions, leave them down below. I will be showing more of these over on Instagram. My handle is ejjoyful underscore plans. It is always a good time. And if you do want to hang out with me again, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel. Until next time, friend, God bless you. God bless you and keep you. Do something creative today, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.